another episode of my videos these are my video series teaching you one or two things to make your life better so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how how i'm going to match my skin using selective color yes there are a lot of methods in the market for us to use but first of all just not to delay your time if you have not subscribed to the channel do it to subscribe for more content like this so i'm going to be using the retouch for me skin mask we need to touch from my skin mask to mask the the image so i'm going to click on i'm going to click here so what this software will do for me is it's going to use ai to detect where the skin is it's going to use ai to detect where the skin is and select it and mask it into a new layout so i'll not be just i will not just be brushing just not be tapping and tapping and brushing everything just to get my image right this will just help me even if it's going to because it's ai it's improving over time even if it's not going to give me the best result it's going to give me 90 percent of the result then the areas i want to paint in i'll just paint it in sometimes sometimes it's because um our models are wearing makeup and after detecting the skin it doesn't know where the makeups are so it will just rule out those areas those are like some of the areas that you still have to go back and brush in. But apart from that, this software will do magic for you. To help you fix a lot of things, it will help your work faster. So let's wait, it's still loading. So it has done, it's done selecting the skin. So let's turn that off first of all. Let's use our selective color to select the areas, the area we feel like we want to use for our skin. Everybody has where they see as their mid-tone. But when you look at your images, you have all these light areas, you have the, these other areas. I feel like this part can work as my mid-tone. So I'll just click on that area that I feel like can work as my mid-tone. So if you're using selective color, it's always advisable for you to use the area that is showing you as mid-tone. Yes, mid-tone. Mid-tone. So click on it. Once you on it, it's going to be showing you what you're seeing here. Then some persons will use soft light. Some persons use soft light, but I don't use soft light. I prefer using color instead. But now you see one of the reasons why people use soft light is because of um, soft light will give you a very good contrast and it will not be showing at this edge. But for this video's sake, let's use it. Let's do the two method. The one you prefer the most, you go with it. So with this, I'll just click on the mask that retouch for me has done for me hold down alt and copy it copy it to that place now look at our mask our mask is rightly selected but just these little areas that did not pick the eyebrow was selected perfectly the eyes were selected perfectly so let's brush in those areas that it did not select so i told it to be doing about 90 percent so i'm painting with a white brush let's switch the brush and paint so for you to see what you're doing make sure you're painting with a regular brush let's white for us to reveal and just paint this area in so if you're not seeing it very well your slash in your system you have to use your slash and you cannot switch the brush with x from white to black once you press your x it will be switching so let's switch to black, switch to white, and um, sorry, I have not switched my brush to the regular brush. So I'll go back, I'll go back and paint again. So now I'm painting it off these areas. Uh, paint it, sorry. Let's paint these areas in. Let's paint these areas in. So is that how you're painting in? Switch the brush. My hand is always in my X to enable me switch. So I'm going to clean all of this. I think everything is okay for me. You can take your time and clean these edges, but I don't think it will be that obvious because it's feathered. When it comes to the edge of whatever you're doing, it's feathered. So it's not like it's going to be very obvious that something bad happened there so all these areas i want to paint them in 
you just paint in like this paint them in go back so you the the amount of time you spend painting your image this will do a lot for you so let's go back let's turn off this so now this is what you're having you have the image looking this way you can just bring down your opacity to around 30. so around 30 is doing well remember it's match you want to match the skin around 30 is doing well so let's duplicate this let's duplicate that this time we change the blend mode to color so when you do both of them you tell me which one you prefer this one is once i use the um, um soft light it becomes too red for me once i use soft light it becomes too red for me so i'll just use color instead color will bring down the saturation and here is our before here is our after so if you're using color around there is fair enough so you can even double click here bring in your blend if and check check what you're doing if if it's not okay maybe you could just feather this a little and feather this a little and say okay so just a skin mashing on this image you can see the difference between the before and the after the before and the after i don't know if you're seeing it but for me this is looking very okay before and after before and after so this is how you mash your skin using selective color no sorry use solid color solid solid color this is how you mash your skin using solid color this is how you mash your skin using solid color so if this video has taught you something in any way please 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 i will beg you to do well to subscribe to this channel so you can see more content like this for the meantime i'll see you in my next video